Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 30 engaging questions covering various aspects of the Holy Bible. Can you tackle this comprehensive biblical challenge? Before we begin, please subscribe and like to support our mission of spreading God's Word. Share your score in the comments after the quiz. We're excited to hear from you. Additionally, we have an exciting opportunity for you. Click the Join button to become a channel member. Members gain access to exclusive content that will enhance your biblical journey while supporting our efforts to reach more people with the Word of God. Are you ready? Let's dive into the video. Question 1. Who wrote the book of Revelation? A. Paul B. Peter C. John D. James Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Revelation 1.1 The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Question 2. Who was the king of Israel that built the first temple in Jerusalem? A. Saul B. David C. Solomon D. Rehoboam Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Morse Kings 6.1 And it came to pass in the 480th year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt, in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the month Ziph, which is the second month, that he began to build the house of the Lord. Question 3. How did Moses ensure victory over Amalek? A prayed b held up his hands c fought in the battle d commanded the army time to think the right answer is letter b Exodus 17 and 11, 13. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone, and put it under him, and he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, the one on the one side, and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. Question 4 In what city was Jesus born? A. Jerusalem B. Bethlehem C. Nazareth D. Galilee Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Luke 2, 4, 6. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. Question 5. Which disciple is traditionally believed to have lived the longest? A. Peter B. James C. John D. Andrew Time to think.
The right answer is letter C. John 21, 22, 23. Jesus saith unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then went this saying abroad among the brethren, that that disciple should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, He shall not die. Uraka. Question 6. What was the main reason God gave for sending Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden? A. They were sinful. B. They could no longer be trusted. C. They might eat from the tree of life. D. They needed to populate the earth. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis 3, 23 And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden, to till the ground from whence he was taken. Question 7. What did Cain offer to God as a sacrifice? A. Fruit of the ground B. A lamb C. A dove D. Bread and wine Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Genesis 4.3 And in process of time it came to pass, that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Question 8. Why did David dance before the Ark of the Covenant? A. In anticipation of the construction of the temple. B. To celebrate his birthday. C. As an act of personal repentance. D. To celebrate the arrival of the Ark in Jerusalem. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. 2 Samuel 6.14 And David danced before the Lord with all his might, and David was girded with a linen ephod. Question 9 Who cut off the skirt of Saul's robe? A. Jonathan B. Abishai C. David D. Ahimelech Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Samuel 24, 4. And David arose and cut off the skirt of Saul's robe privily. Question 10. What did Saul throw at David in a fit of anger? A. A spear. B. A stone. C. A curse. D. A goblet. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. 1 Samuel 18.11 And Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. Question 11. From whom did David hide in the cave of Adullam? 
A. The Philistines B. King Saul C. Absalom D. The Ammonites Time to think. The right answer is letter B. First, Samuel 22.1 David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adullam. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. Question 12. What was the name of Saul's father? A. Jesse B. Kish C. Eli D. Samuel Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Merce, Samuel 9.1.2 Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Bechorath, the son of Aphia, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power, and he had a son, whose name was Saul, a choice young man, and a goodly. And there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward he was higher than any of the people. Question 13 what activity were Adam and Eve engaged in when they heard God walking in the garden? A. Sleeping B. Hiding C. Eating the forbidden fruit D. Naming the animals Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis 3, 8 And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Question 14 What is the significance of Adam naming the animals? A. It showed his authority over creation. B. It was a test of his intelligence. C. It demonstrated his loneliness. D. It was a test of his ability. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Genesis 2, 19-20 And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Question 15 Which tree were Adam and Eve forbidden to eat from? A. Tree of Life B. Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil C. Tree of Wisdom D. Tree of Eternity Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis 2.17 But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Question 16 What was the name of the garden where Adam and Eve lived? A. Garden of Eden B. Garden of Gethsemane C. Garden of Babylon 
D. Garden of Zion. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Genesis 2, 8. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Question 17. In what form did he angel of the Lord appear to Moses in the burning bush? A. A cloud. B. A burning tree. C. An angel. D. A flame of fire. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Exodus 3 or 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Question 18. What was Jonah's initial reaction to God's command to go to Nineveh? A. He obeyed immediately. B. He refused and went to Tarshish. C. He prayed for guidance. D. He asked for a sign. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Jonah, 1 per 3. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Question 19. Who was present at the transfiguration of Jesus along with Peter? A. Matthew and Thomas B. John and James C. Andrew and Philip D. Judas and Bartholomew Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Matthew 17, 1, 2. And after six days Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Question 20. Which disciple did Jesus love? A. Peter. B. Andrew C. James D. John Time to think. The right answer is letter D. John 13.23 now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved. Question 21. Who was the second king of Israel? A. Saul B. Samuel C. David D. Solomon Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 2. Samuel 2.4 And the men of Judah came, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. 
Question 22. What kind of animal did Samson kill with his bare hands? A. Lion B. Bear C. Wolf D. Snake Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Judges, 14, 5 through 6. Then went Samson down, and his father and his mother to Timnath, and came to the vineyards of Timnath. And behold, a young lion roared against him, and the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and he rent him as he would have rent a kid, and he had nothing in his hand. Question 23. Which prophet foretold the coming of the Messiah as a suffering servant? A. Ezekiel B. Jeremiah C. Isaiah D. Daniel Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Isaiah 53, 3, 5. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Question 24. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, who first passed by the man who fell among thieves? A. A Samaritan B. A Levite C. A priest D. A merchant Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Luke 10.31 And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Question 25 Which prophet foretold the destruction of Nineveh? A. Jonah B. Nahum C. Hosea D. Amos. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Nahum, 101, the burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum the Elkoshite. Question 26. How many days and nights did it rain during the flood in Noah's time? A. 30 days and nights B. 40 days and nights C. 50 days and nights D. 60 days and nights Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis 7:12, And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. Question 27. Who was the first king of Israel? A. Saul B. David C. Solomon D. Samuel Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Verse Samuel 10, 1. Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head, and kissed him, 
and said, Is it not because the Lord hath anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Question 28. What was the name of the prophet who told David about the future of his house? A. Nathan B. Samuel C. Elijah D. Gad Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Sue, Samuel 717. According to all these words, and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. Question 29. Which son of David declared himself king without David's knowledge? A. Absalom B. Adonijah C. Solomon D. Amnon Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Rust Kings, 1-5. Then Adonijah the son of Haggith exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen and fifty men to run before him. Question 30. What was the name of King Solomon's mother? A. Rachel B. Bathsheba C. Sarah D. Leah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. 1 Kings 1.11 Wherefore Nathan spake unto Bathsheba the mother of Solomon, saying, Hast thou not heard that Adonijah the son of Haggith doth reign, and David our Lord knoweth it not? Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.